Hey there, gentle people. It has been a, a hot minute, like actually more like 20 hot minutes rolled up into one since, what was that? I, something just fell down in the bathroom. Anyway, I'm not even going to stress it right now. Um, but anyway, so ignore the, the sound of my voice. I'm having like really bad allergies. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys um, an, an update on what's been happening um, a lot of things so this channel is the art of creative living right so uh, I've talked about the fact that creativity is not necessarily mutually exclusive just to visual art right there are, there are so many different um, aspects of life that creativity touches on so I've been doing a lot in in the past couple of months um, that hasn't been necessarily related to, to visual art per se but still very creative but I still wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff I have been working on as far as visual art is concerned and this is totally left of of what I, I normally do but then there is no normal when it comes to me so anyway um these are a couple of pieces I did recently um I've been weaving right I don't know like I always was interested in it so I was like hmm let me try it see how it goes so I did this little piece here and this is just super cheap uh yarn that you can get at, at Michael's or, or Joann's and this wasn't supposed to look like this is a little fuzzy piece right here but I kind of liked how it came out so I just decided to leave it so there's that little piece and um i just basically watch videos right here on youtube and that's how i learned to do that and then another piece this is a longer one here oh yeah i got carried away <laughs> like doing this right but yeah it's really cool and it's it's such a, a meditative process you just kind of sit down and get all into it so you know these are all the different stitches that I've been learning and don't ask me the names because I have no idea some of them like I just kind of you know just messed around and you know just tried something on my own and when you watch these videos on YouTube, um, take them and make them your own. You don't have to do it exactly how somebody else does it. And if you get like a little bolt of inspiration, um, just do it. So that's the long one. So that's the weaving, right? And okay, so I don't really like these, but I'm going to show them to you just so that you guys get the whole concept of it's it's a process right art is a process creativity is a process and i was just kind of in in a different space so um these are some abstract pieces i've been working on this is one right here it has no name i still have yet to figure out what direction to turn it in but um it's it's more in intuitive than than anything else i guess so there's that little piece and then in the same color palette um there's that as well and this is totally these are totally left field for me not stuff i would normally do but just exploring and i did this big one which kind of ties in some of the stuff I was doing before in terms of line and shape but I put it on the on top of of these more intuitive painting backgrounds that I've been doing so there's this one and the reason <laughs> the reason why I put this on top was because after I laid the background down and I did all this you know abstract intuitive stuff um, on the back I was like I don't really like where it looks so then I just drew for my old motif and rested that on top um, of it I don't know can't remember what size this is but as you can see this is a bigger one and I do have a couple more pieces like this that I've been working on so they're not finished yet um, I guess paintings never really are you just kind of have to stop them at a point so um, whenever I get to the point where I stop those I'll be sure to share those with you guys and then the other thing that I've been working on I've been doing let me so my my computer is one of my BFFs right like do you see all my my stickers Can you see my stickers is it upside down wait hold on 
oh my stickers I, I have space here for one right so I need one more sticker I love stickers right ever since I was a kid I have a total sticker thing um so this computer this little um MacBook is pretty much um what has been my BFF in the past couple months I have been working on uh, a lot of coding which is computer programming uh something that I've always had an interest in since I was a kid I actually did um beg my parents to send me to this computer programming course when I was like maybe 12 years old at the time where you know the computer still had like the green screen and it was the ms dos with the dot matrix printer and it was like one of the best summers ever in my entire life and when i went to high school i actually did um there's this exam in england that uh we do in jamaica they're called gc's gsce so i did the one in computer science which kind of blows my mind right now because at the time like we literally spent a whole year in class learning computer science with no computers just from a textbook which is like pff, crazy but anyway so the interest has always been there and then when i started teaching in in a regular public high school i started this after school coding club i mean teaching stuff that i had never had any experience with before but just like a lot of other things like i would literally learn it the day before and then teach it to kids the next day so when i started that um back in I think 2011 2012 um, I had a group of 12th graders that I was working with after school and you know we were going through HTML and CSS and and JavaScript and um, you know like I said it was me learning one lesson then turning around and teaching it the next day and that's how I find I learn a lot of things well it it sticks better when I have to turn around and teach somebody something then like I know I have it and you know I've been thinking about it this week and you know those are my things right I love learning and I love teaching I love teaching and I love learning like like that's my thing so anyway um back to the coding thing when I was in college I also started doing a bunch of uh, computer science courses but they always got to a point where I had to stop because anything beyond those courses would always have like this advanced math prerequisite and you needed calculus and you needed trigonometry and I'm like okay like I've barely made it past um the first level of algebra so you know i definitely can't do any more of these classes but you know i've always been an early adopter always love computers i mean the first jump drive that ibm ever put out like back in woo the early 90 mid to mid to late 90s um i paid like 80 dollars for that little jump drive it was the first one ever put on the market and it only held i think um as much as one floppy disk which you know is kind of crazy considering how like we don't even use jump drives anymore because everything is in the cloud but anyway um point being that you know my interest in in technology has been something that was there since i was a little kid when i tried to build a robot when i was five which was a completely disaster but anyway so I've been working on on coding like there's so many free resources available online I've been using um, a website called free code camp like they literally take you through a whole front-end development certification without paying a dime and like it's in the form of challenges and I'm up to I think 140 something now that I've worked my way through and then I've also been using um, another course on learn.co which is through um, the Flatiron School in New York they have like an online version I've been using theirs as well and between the two of them you know I've been making making strides um, you know trying to to learn kind of on my own um, going again over HTML and CSS and JavaScript right now I'm on um, jQuery and you know still kind of JavaScript me and JavaScript are not BFFs but you know we're getting through and you know I have to send a big up to you know the people that have been kind of helping me one of the things that I've been learning which I totally suck at is asking for help and asking for help early right um I'm so used to figuring out things on my own and you know with this whole computer science computer science and engineering and programming and development type of stuff you have to ask for help and you have to ask for help early so um that has been a lesson um for me so that's what i've been spending a lot of time on and i'm back 
to a regular school I'm teaching in a regular school I'm not working remotely anymore so <sighs> questioning my sanity with that one seriously that's the reason why I'm sick right now um but yeah so there's a lot going on like when is there ever not a lot going on but um that's the deal that's the latest uh the next thing i have to show you guys in the next video is it's gonna be a little haul video right so um i went to michael's this week i haven't been to michael's in like forever like michael's was like my once a week thing when i was working from home the the not working from home is so not cute um but anyway i went to michael's this week so definitely wanted to show you guys that stuff um but that's it that's the latest the the new direction in terms of the visual art stuff um the coding stuff it is it's my intention that this is you know gonna be my last year teaching in in public school um i'm kind of ready to let go of the the rigidity of of that whole system so that's that um all right so thank you your time your energy your presence all that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next video